After two days of play and 15 rounds of Swiss, it all came down to one final match. In one corner sat Gerard Fabiano, no stranger to the lights of the Sunday stage with his rock deck. Across from him was Adam Yurchik, playing in his first Grand Prix Finals and hoping that his blue-white Tron deck would make his first final a winning one. In Game 1, after no mulligans, Adam kicked off the finals with a Teleria West. Gerard went from 19 to 17 to 15, fetching overgrown tomb and playing Thoughtseize. Adam showed a hand of two Oblivion Rings, Thirst for Knowledge, Fact or Fiction, and two lands from which Gerard took the Thirst for Knowledge. Urza's Tower came down for Adam along with an Azorius Signet. Gerard added Sakura Tribelder and Loxodon Hierarch to his board over the next two turns, going back up to 18. Adam answered with Fact or Fiction, which Gerard split as Thirst for Knowledge and Azorius Signet in one pile and three lands in the other. Adam took the pile with the spells. Gerard knocked Adam to 12 with a swing from the Hierarch, then played a second 4-4 in the form of Ravenous Baloth. Adam halted the hemorrhaging with Wrath of God. Gerard sacked his Baloth to go up to 22 life in response. Gerard then played Pernicious Deed and activated it for two, taking out both of Adam's signets. A pair of Sakura Tribe Elders from Gerard was met with a cycled Decree of Justice from Adam, netting him two soldier tokens. Gerard smothered one of the tokens and attacked with both of his elders. One was blocked and one got through. Adam fell to 11 life and Gerard searched out a forest. Gerard added to his board with another Loxodon Hierarch, going to 25. Adam got rid of the Hierarch with Oblivion Ring, but still fell to 10 from a Sakura Tribe Elder attack. Cabal Therapy from Gerard snagged two other Oblivion Rings from Adam's hand. He also saw Remand and Condescend. One Sakura Tribe Elder took Adam to 9, and the Condescend stopped another from coming into play. Sakura Tribe Elder got in there again, taking Adam down to 8 life, and Gerard tried to follow that up with an Eternal Witness, but Adam had yet another Condescend. Gerard ditched his Sakura Tribe Elder to flashback Cabal Therapy, taking Remand. On his next turn, Gerard played Sensei's Divining Top and spun it into Thought Seize, to which Adam responded by Cycling's Decree of Justice for four Soldier Tokens. Adam completed the Urzatron as the tokens took Gerard to 19 and then 15 with another attack. Gerard spun his top into Vindicate, which took out Oblivion Ring. With his Hierarch back, Gerard was up to 19 life. The four soldiers blocked Hierarch when it swung. Gerard played Eternal Witness, getting back another Eternal Witness. When Gerard tried to add Tarmogoyf to his creatures, Adam had another Condescend ready. The two witnesses took Adam to two, and when Gerard thought seized for his only card, Adam packed it in. Gerard Fabiano was up one game, and your chick was down zero. For game two, both players kept their opening hands again. Adam again started with a Teleria West and a play tapped. Gerard had a tap land of his own in Treetop Village. Two Urza lands allowed Adam to play a face-down creature. Gerard went to 17 for a Godless Shrine and vindicated Adam's Teleria West. Adam finished the Tron and played Chromox in printing an Exalted Angel. The Morph got in there, taking Gerard down to 15 life. Gerard played Cranial Extraction. Adam responded by cycling Decree of Justice, the Urzatron letting him make five soldiers. Gerard named Mindslaver for his extraction, taking the two from Adam's deck. Skycloud Expanse allowed Adam to turn up Exalted Angel and attack for nine. With the life totals at 24 to 6 and no help on the way, Gerard called it a game. Gerard Fabiano is now up one, and so is Adam Yurchik. The final game began just like the last, only in reverse order. Gerard played Treetop Village, and Adam played Teleria West. Gerard dropped a forest and Tarmogoyf, while Adam started working on the Urzatron. Treetop Village got in there for three, taking Adam down to 17. An untapped hallowed fountain left Adam at 15. He soon fell to 12 from the Treetop Village. Gerard took three for Overgrown Tomb, but his thought seize was stopped by Remand. Tarmogoyf now had a real power value, so Gerard attacked with it and the village to send Adam down to seven. Oblivion Ring took care of the Tarmogoyf. Gerard played his thought seize a second time, going down to 15 and seeing a hand of Sundering Titan, Condescend, Remand, Fact or Fiction, Hallowed Fountain, and Teleria West. He took the Condescend. Lockstone Hierarch brought Gerard back up to 19. All Adam could do was ponder the board and drop another Teleria West into play. Gerard drew his card and shuffled a duress back and forth in his hand. He animated Treetop Village and, staring down lethal damage, Adam extended the hand.
Congratulations, man. You're good, brother. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. How's it feel? Uh, I feel, I mean, just speechless, basically. Uh, I was just really happy when I won, and uh, I came second before in a Grand Prix, and I was just, I wanted to win so bad this time, and, and I won, so it feels good, yeah. So what did you think about the matchup? Uh, John Sonny spoke with me uh, before. He played uh, your check in round one of the top eight, the first round of top eight, and he thought it might have been a tough matchup. He wasn't really too sure. Um, but I think the main factor might have been that I had Vindicates, although they didn't really come in handy uh, that game uh, or throughout the match. Um, I don't know, really. I mean, my discard was pretty good. Uh, I think I played well. I, I don't know. I just won. <laughs> uh, against that type of deck, I wanted to bring in two Cranial Extractions, two Extra Pates, and an Extra Duress. Um, I wanted to take out a Therapy just because, like, my deck doesn't really have too many creatures that I want to really sack. Like, Tormagoyf wants to attack, Elder wants to get to land, and the only real creature I'll sack is uh, a Witness. So, uh, I just uh, swapped out a Duress for a Cabal Therapy, and basically, I didn't want to get Mind Slaver locked, and uh, Extraction and Extirpate, you know, stops that from happening. Uh, and besides for that, I was just, I don't know, some hand disruption with Dossies. Dossies was, was uh, really, really good this weekend, and just get down some creatures and hope he stumbles on his mana and stuff, and he kind of did, so. Yeah, like a Factor Fiction doesn't do too much when, you know, he's behind already, so, yeah. I don't know, I, all I know is Game 3 I kept a, a shaky hand, it was uh, just two green sources, and uh, I had, a, like, some uh, some discard spells, I had a Toymagoyf, a Witness, so I knew if I drew a Black Sauce I could Thawseize him, Witness the Thawseize back, Thawseize him again, Extirpate him, uh, I think I might have had a Smother, just in case he had an early uh, Exalted Angel. And uh, I didn't draw the green, but I, but I had a treetop. Uh, uh, I didn't draw the uh, black, but I had a treetop village. And I, I don't even know. I just won with the treetop village and a goyf mostly. And I just I just top decked. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I was more comfortable playing this time. Uh, I remember back in Spain and even in Worlds. Like I don't know if I was on tilt or I just I just didn't really focus. And this tournament, I, I just wanted to try to focus and take my time. Uh, uh, most of the players were kind of leaning forward when we're playing, like, you know, real nervous. Uh, I mean, I was nervous in top eight, kind of, just, just kind of excited. But throughout the Swiss, I was laid back. I had two draws, and uh, I just played really slow. I, I, thought my I, I took my time. I thought uh, all the plays through. And, I mean, I was still making mistakes, but I, I just felt that even if I lost game one, even if, I, even if my opponent top deck, no matter what, I just felt I was going to win. Um, and I just wanted to think everything through, basically. And I don't know. I just took my time. So, yeah. I just want to say thanks to, to Antonio and, and Dane and, and, and just, just everyone else uh, that supported me, basically. Um, and my friend Noelle, I stayed at her house this weekend, so she was real, uh, you know, good hospitality. Although uh, we only got about like four to six hours of sleep the whole weekend. So, so maybe that's a secret. Just, just don't, don't get enough sleep. And, uh, you got nine hours of sleep the last three days. Yeah, so maybe that's it. Just don't sleep a lot. And I, I have no clue. No secret. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Evan.